Yeah, interesting, right? Your lips never sweat and are pimple-free. So if you see anybody with uh, anything there, man, find your way. Um, <laughs> let's not get derailed. It's time for motivation. And today we're going to be talking about embracing the word purpose. Well, not the word purpose, the term purpose. And, uh, you know, when it comes to living a fulfilled life, Gabriel Balogun has dedicated his life to transforming learning and development. He's been an advocate for this for quite a while, and he strategizes businesses into stellar performers using his world of experience in business strategy. It's always a pleasure having you in the building. Good to be here again. <laughs> okay, so this term purpose, we've heard this term over and over again, mm. uh, and many different speakers, uh, coaches, have different versions yeah. of what purpose I said means. versions. Yeah. So um, embracing purpose, what does it mean to you? I like to define purpose as that one thing you have been created to do, that if you do every other thing and you don't do that one thing, okay. then you would get to the end of your life and feel like you failed. That's what I think purpose is. Okay. And for me personally, I've lived by this Japanese term called Ikigai. So I watch a lot of Japanese anime and it was one of the things I picked up. And what is Ikigai? Ikigai is simply living around an idea that satisfies what you love, okay. what you can be paid for, mm. um, what the world needs from you, and finally, um, what you're good at. Okay, what you love, what you can be paid, paid for, for, what the world what needs, needs from, from you. you and, and um, what you are good at. Okay. So there are three of them that sound sort of simple, mm. but then the one where you say what the world needs from me, okay. it feels a bit more complicated. Could we go deeper in, in yeah, that? Yes, so let, me, let me share an example of me. Okay. Um, I discovered earlier in life, so if you Google my name, Gabriel Balogun, there are two major things that will pop up. Um, first page, second page. One is style, the other one is learning and development. Okay. Now, way back in secondary school, I discovered that I loved style. I could okay. easily put colors together. I helped people look good. And so I spent a large chunk of my early years trying to build a life around it. Mm -hmm. But then I went on IT and realized that the world is different. The world sees style as a nice to have yeah. and not a must have. So it's not what the world really needs from me for okay. them to give me money, okay. for me to find fulfillment in it. Okay. Okay. So I discovered that I could also teach and impact knowledge. And then I asked myself, what aspect of the world needs knowledge? Mm. And I realized that the world needs to learn every day. Mm. The world must learn every day to scale, to evolve, to grow. And so what I did was that I focused my final year in understanding it. So I became really good at it. Um, I discovered how the world needed it, which is learning and development for organizations, for institutions, for individuals. Yeah. I also discovered that I became very good at it and I loved it. And so I left school with that idea that I'm going to help people take actionable steps to put their best life and their best work into the world. Okay. So my life has revolved around that single idea since then. So it feels like uh, in terms of purpose, some people find purpose and then some people are thrust into it. Yes. Or pushed into it or yes. forced into it. Yes. So I tell people, stop trying to find purpose. Okay. Begin to live. Okay. Because it's in living you discover, if you're living with this four thing, you're discovering, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. So if you, if you love something, for instance, and you get paid for it, and you're good at it, that's a job. Okay. If you love something, and um, you're very good at it, but you don't get paid for it, that's a passion. Okay. If you love something and the world needs it from you, but you don't get paid for it, that's a mission. Okay. Right? So having to get those four things ticked means that you are now enjoying your life and you are living in purpose. You're discov okay. You've discovered that this specific thing I'm doing satisfies these four things. Okay. So let's just go with it. And it comes from doing. It doesn't come from, you don't search it out. Or let me say the best way to search it out is by beginning with the very first thing. Okay. If it satisfies the first two, keep at it. It may eventually get the third or fourth one covered. 
So is it too early for a 20-year-old to start talking about finding purpose? Is it too early for a teenager to start talking about finding purpose? Because no, I think... it feels like, with what we've said, it feels mm. like it's over a period of time or certain experiences that you mm. begin to find purpose. Yeah, I believe that until you, you really clock 19 okay. or 18, you have been shielded from life. Okay. So I, let me say that with a bit of grace. Yeah. Eighty percent or seventy percent of teenagers have sh are shielded from life. Mm. Your first experience of life is when you go to college or you go to yeah. the university. There's no mommy. There's no daddy. Mm. Even in that, you're still shielded by the school's environment. Yeah. Right. So each phase of your life tells you what you can do with your life as you grow. So there are people that still find purpose or find a new definition of their purpose at forty. Okay. At 50, okay. at 60, okay. at 70. So it's something you do till you die. Okay. Can purpose change? Yes. Mm. The reason why I say it can change is, now if, I'm, I'm trying very much not to go, not to sound. <laughs> what? Spiritual? Um, uh, oh. Spiritual. Okay. As like, but their life is deeply spiritual. And I believe that um, my, one of the things my faith teaches is that, and I'm a Christian, by the way, is that you are created to... Um, worship and live for the creator. Now, that could sound very vague, but I, I extremely believe that your purpose can be one thing, but the assignment part time yeah. can change. So if my purpose, for instance, is to help people take actionable steps to put their best self into the world, yeah. at a certain phase in my life, it may mean that I won't do l &D anymore. It may mean that I may morph into an executive coach or a business coach, or something different. And then in another phase of my life, yeah. it morphs into something. And so the assignment can change part time, but the purpose remains. OK. So uh, in generally speaking, uh, some people need to realize that they were, they were sent into the world to get something done, done yes. on assignment for something. Yes. Now, you've probably been working, or should we say hustling, trying to pay the bills. Yeah. but. Have you actually connected with what you were assigned to, to do? do? That's the big question. Yeah. What have I been assigned to do? Mm. What, what version of humanity have I been assigned to? What aspect of human life have I been created to help? Okay. We would not have fast cars or cars running on battery if Elon Musk never took up that assignment. Yeah. We wouldn't have computers if Steve Jobs and Bill Gates never did that. We wouldn't have the internet revolution if these men yeah. didn't pick it up and do it. So there is something in life. It could be that you've been assigned to clean shoes and clean shoes so well that anywhere in the world they look and say, nah, this, yeah. is, this is special, right? Yeah. So figuring that <laughs> out is something that I feel and I encourage every human should do. I, I often say, God bless whoever invented air conditioning. I think I need to <laughs> Google who it is. Because I was wondering how people were surviving without air conditioning <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. Uh, but someone invented that. It was actually a woman that uh, created the World Wide Web. Yes. It was a black woman that created that. She was created for something. She found purpose. She got it done. And she yeah. impacted the world. And if you do that, you would live a fulfilled life. Amen to that. Yes. Gabriel Balogun, everyone. Uh, now, hopefully, this has connected with you. If you have any questions, contributions, we would love to hear them. Use the hashtag WakeUpNigeria on TVC and uh, give us your comments and, uh, yeah, questions as well. Thank yeah, you so much again, good. Gabriel. Thank you for having me. <laughs> At this point, we have a few more uh, great things coming your way right here on Wake Up Nigeria. Let's take a quick break, and we'll be back.